Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Happy April. There you go. That's what we're doing right there. 1819 Panini Select Basketball. Half case from a fresh case. Random team number nine. Remember the combos right here. Nine and ten are from the same case. Remember, no concourse veteran base ships, but everything else will. There's all the names right here. There are the combo teams right there. So it should be 28. Let's roll the dice and randomize each list seven times. Two and a five. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got a few Jeremy 33s down to Brian Watford. I think Watford beat Fulham today, folks, English Premier League fans. Two and a five, seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven times, we've got the Brooklyn Nets down to the San Antonio Spurs. All right, Jeremy, you've got the Nets, Clippers, and Warriors. Mark with the Grizz. Jeremy, you've got the uh, Pelicans, Raptors combo, and the Orlando Magic. Jesse with the Bulls. Rich with the Rockets. Mark with the Pistons and the Knicks. Chris with my Lakers. Jeremy with the Hornets. Mark, you got the Sixers and the Celtics. Jeremy with the Nuggets. Anthony Parkinson with the Heat and the Wizards combo. Mark Matheson with the Kings. Chris with the Hawks. Brandon with the Jazz. Christopher Bay with the Timberwolves. Mike Towery got the Pacers. Chris Parent with the Suns. A lot of Chris's in this break. Regimel with the Trailblazers. Joe Matthews with the Bucks. Chris, you got the Mavs. Nice. And the Cavs. Jeremy Murrow with the Thunder. And Brian Watford with the San Antonio Spurs. Jesse has the Spurs up for, or Bulls up for trade, that is. It's alphabetized by team. And while you're considering trades, let's grab the case right here. Second half is already in the store if you want to run this back tonight, Hoops fans. And let's pop this guy open and let's see which half we're going to do. Rockets for Grizzlies, says Rich. Uh, Mark, if you're here. All right, so there's a row of six right here. You can see right there in the row of six right here. No Yahtzee? No, no Yahtzee. One, two, three, four, five, six. Left, one, two, three, right side, four, five, six. And it's six, right side. So this side we will reserve for break 10, which we can certainly do tonight if you'd like. All right, any trades? Pacers for Bulls, maybe? Mark says no, thank you, Rich. Pacers for Bulls, perhaps? All right, looks like no to the Pacers. All right, looks like no trades then. Some offers out there, but... Oh, what about Pelicans, Raptors for Bulls? Jesse, if that does anything for you, otherwise we'll go. Jesse will take that deal, though. Okay, nice.
All right, so Jesse is now out of the Bulls spot. Jeremy 33 out of the combo spot. Jeremy 33 now has the Bulls. We'll put a T next to there, next to that Bulls, so we know that's from a trade. So in case you're keeping score at home, you can see who ends up drawing first blood in that trade. All right, let's print, let's rip. Trade window closed. And here's the final printout. And here is box number one. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and six right here. All right, good luck, everybody. <laughs> Jeremy and Tyler talking some Mets baseball. They, they are not a fan of Vargas. And Jeremy says, as long as one, the one through four are healthy in the rotation, I can be the fifth starter. No, I don't have a good knuckle. My cousin has a good knuckleball. I do have a good, uh, good. I do have good natural spin on my uh, on my pitches. So there's some natural movement to it. Decent slider set up by my blazing fast fastball. <laughs> All right, here comes box number one. Basketball season almost to a close, boys and girls. It's only a handful of games left for everybody, and then we're into the playoffs. What a disappointing season for the Lakers, my Lakers. Every shutting everybody down, people injured. We'll see what they can do in the off season. All right, good luck. We're going to start off with Michael Bridges. There's Taj Gibson to 299 for the Timberwolves. And we'll have our shipping team top load all these before they go out, just in the interest of time. We'll just set those aside right there. There's Anthony Davis. Remember, in football, these tricolors are numbered, but not in basketball. They'll ship, but we're just breezing by those. Is that an autograph? Wow. Kevin Durant, on card autograph. Jeremy 33 and the Warriors. Warriors come out to play. 13 out of 35. Nice. Kawhi. White prism to 149. That was kind of unexpected. First hit out of the break. It goes to the Raptors. We'll save some of these Luka Doncic's as well. There's Jacob Evans the third to 199. There's Durant again. Jeremy 33 saying, been waiting for a while for the break. Worth it. Absolutely. There's Evan Fournier. Throwback memorabilia for the Nuggets. Throwing it back to Jeremy 33. Two hits. In the box, both for Jeremy thirty-three. Is he going to run the? Is he going to run the table? I think there's a third hit inside here. There's Iguodala, Paul George, Pacers, Mike Tower with that one. Throwback memorabilia. Bryce Harper getting booed. This is first AB. I think they did a nice video tribute for him, though, where he got cheers. So this, at bat, he gets booze now. There's Mo Wagner and Patty Mills at the end. The Mo Wagner die cut going to 
uh, Chris Layton with the Lakers. It finally did. We're already, uh, there's already two men on after four pitches. It's Mo Wagner at a 249. And that's Max Scherzer on the mound too. That's interesting. There's looks like there's still some light rain coming down. What if Harper goes yard right here? Scherzer don't Scherzer seems like he's nibbling. Nibbling around the plate. Throw one inside. Looks like the Nationals are already wearing their 4th of July hats. Oh, there's one inside. That got him. Uh, Smith's kicks. What's closest to breaking next? I'm not sure, actually. I know I do see some orders coming in, but if you go and check uh, jazbeescasebreaks.com, you can see what break is being close. Where is the Donner Sigs break? If you look at your eBay description, you'll see the time and the place for that. It's not here, I'm afraid. X Factor Derek Rose. It's in the studio behind me. Different channel. Derek Rose, X Factor, Timberwolves, that goes to Christopher Bay. There you go, it's not for another hour and a half. Hour, hour and a half. All the details are in your item description, please read those. There's uh, Luka Doncic and the Spirographs. And there's Chris Weber, X Factor Relic, for the Kings. That'll be for Scott Sacramento. That'll be for Mark Matson and the Kings. Anthony Davis, White Prism, to one forty nine. That's for the Pelicans. There's Giannis Antetokounmpo, red. Out of 199. And we've got just Luka Doncic, not silver, just a regular base card. Harper strikes out. And is that... It's the Kembe Mutombo. Who has like a... Like a nephew or something like that who plays college basketball right now. 65 out of 199. 76ers with that one. Mark Matson got randomized the Sixers. There's Kevin Huter to two ninety nine. Jeremy Lin and Aaron Holiday. Die cut to one seventy five. I like these global icons right here too. Those silver parallels, the refractors can do some do some uh, carry some decent value. There it is for the Pacers, Aaron Holiday. Uh, Rook, you just got to go to your go to your My eBay, click the item that you bid on and won, and then scroll down, and then it's all there. All the information is there. You'll have the time information, you'll have the channel information, all that's there. Right, 
right, you can do it. That's right, TJ. Gotta encourage the rook. You can do it. I know you can. I believe. I believe in you. <laughs> Matt is not so sure, but I believe. I know you can do it. Oh, Jason Jaspi's too nice. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, he was having trouble yesterday, too. That's what TJ was saying and Jason Jaspi. You can do it, Rook. I know you can. Um, how do you tell which are the silvers? I will. I shall show you, EO. Right here on this very video, there's got to be at least one of those in the, in, the, in the box. They look like this. So that's regular. The Marcus Smart and the Michael Kidd Gil Gilchrist are the refractors, the silvers. There you go. There's Rudy Gay to 199. Oh, I think it also says, it says on the back too. Oh, there, see the Gilcrest has Prism on the back, and that's just a regular one. Now they're, they used to be called Prism Prisms, Jason's saying, but now they're Silvers. Wait, where's Hollow? Hollow is Donner's Optic, right? Yeah, yeah. Because I remember, I remember we were talking about Silvers, and I'm like, what is a Silver? And I was like, it's just a refractor. I'm like, what? Yeah, it's just a refractor, right. Those are, those are Prism Prisms, they said. It's just Prism on the back. Vince Carter throwback memorabilia for the Dallas Mavericks. That'll be for Chris... Yeah, I do like the sound of silver better. Like yesterday, I thought I pulled a super fracture, but it was actually like, oh, gold vinyl. Oh, gold vinyl out of five, and you're like, come on, yeah. Actually, that's top vinyl, yeah, that's right. And for the Pelicans, Alfred Payton. So Jesse draws first blood in the trade. He has the Pelicans Raptors combo. Sixty one out of one ninety nine. Any guesses on the redemption? There's Miles Bridges, red die cut. I'm just top loading these now just because we've got pointy edges. I want to protect these right away. That's out of 175. That goes to the Hornets. That'll be for Jeremy Merle. And nice. A Luka Doncic die cut. One of one. Wow. Well, that, that's gonna, probably going to go for like a million dollars. This is a random break. Woo. So Luka Doncic, die cut, one of one. Just put a buy it now a million dollars and then accept whatever you feel comfortable with. That goes to the Dallas Mavericks, Chris Layton with the Dallas Mavericks set. Has, has he been, was he a customer here before? No, I don't think so. It's the first time I've seen his name. Oh, nice. Chris Layton coming over from the eBay side of things. Congrats, man. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Congrats, Chris. Nice. All right, and the redemp is Brandon Ingram. Nice, a little Laker Joe Mojo. In-flight signatures, tie-dye prisms. It's a number to 20 or 25, something like that. I forget what the autographs are number to. No, the non-autos are out of 25, the tie-dyes. It's got my Lakers. Chris Layton also has my Lakers. Look at that. What a box. Nice. 
Looks, I think he's, uh, that surgery he had for blood clots, I think, is went well, so he's all right. All right, nice. Okay. That was the first half of this half case break. Here's the next three. Uh, we don't have any coupon codes, kicks, sorry. I've been busy with the tournament, so uh, the March Madness tournament. I haven't really been keeping track of the last few weeks of of basketball. But oh, if you want gift cards, email us jazbeescasebreaks at gmail .com. We'll send you the link to buy gift cards for whoever you want to buy gift cards for. So Bucks, Raptors, Sixers, Celtics, Pacers have have playoff spots all wrapped up. And I think Pistons, Nets. Miami Heat and the Orlando Magic are still fighting to secure their spots in the East. All right. Ooh, Ma Magic can kind of slip in. Could be interesting. Hornets, I guess, are mathematically still in as well. I wonder who, com who comes out of the East. What do you think, folks? There's tie-dye Landry Shamit to 25. And there's Monty Morris to 299. Monty Morris going to Jeremy 33 and Landry tie-dye going to the Sixers. That'll be for Mark. There's Reggie Jackson to 149. White Prism to 149. Pistons, that'll be going to Boombox, Mark Glassman. And George Hill, throwback memorabilia for the Jazz. Brandon Stewart with the Jazzy Jazz. There's Mo Bamba. Mo Bamba for the Magic. That goes to Jeremy33. There's Chris Layton. You're welcome. You are welcome. Jimmy Butler. Select Swatches Relic. Jimmy Butler will be a free agent. It'll be interesting to see where he ends up. Could be back with the Sixers. Can the Sixers make it to the NBA Finals? That'll be Mark Matson. There, there it is again, Chris Layton. Here's your Luka Doncic die cut. One of one. Someone look this up. What, what does the out of like fives go for? If there's any on eBay, someone look that up. I'd be curious to see what we think we can, what we can possibly get for that one of one value wise. Wow, the Jason Jaspi saying the out of ten sold for seven hundred and ten dollars. Could be a grand right there. Eric Gordon Rockets die cut going to Rich. Out of two forty nine. Two more boxes to go. Is that just a die cut of Luka Doncic? Boombox is here. What's up, Boombox? Good to see you, man. It says the out of five is listed at five thousand. Wow. I mean, even if you even if you accept half that, I mean that'll be interesting. 
Die cut values are always low, says Jeremy33. Not sure why. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe the die cuts aren't for everybody. I, I think people don't like uh, don't like the fact that there is... Uh, it can be more easily, I think, damaged, I think. The sides, the edges, the corners. Yeah, no auto on this particular one of one. I think the die cuts usually aren't autoed. That's silly just because they stamp one of one. I mean, that's the whole that's the whole point of this. Ooh. Trey Turner was trying to bunt. Yeah, he got hit on the hand. Yeah, I don't think it's going to go for 5,000. But if it goes for half of that, that's going to be a good sign for the one of one value-wise. X-Factor, Aaron Gordon. That'll be for the Orlando Magic. That's going to go to Jeremy33. Did they take him out of the game? Michael Porter Jr. There's Kevin Huter. Tie-dye. Nice. Draft Selections Relic. Nice. That's a good-looking one for the Atlanta Hawks. Chris Layton with the Atlanta Hawks. Nice. Thirteen out of twenty-five. Sam Surrey saying someone's doing the rainbow. They're definitely going to want it. I think regardless of whether someone's doing a rainbow or not. There's Colin Sexton to 175. And nice Oladipo. Tie-dye. An X-Factor pattern to 25. That goes to the Pacers. That'll be from Mike Tower. Sexton going to the Cavs. Chris Layton, last spot mojo. RTR, real-time, think it's going to be worth maybe grading. Could be interesting. Out of 175. There is that classic debate on whether you you grade a one of one or not. Let's get the focus back here. There's SGA. And Clyde the Glide Drexler. Nice. Thirty-one out of thirty-five. A lot of vet autos in here. That goes to the Trailblazer. That's going to go to Regmel. Gilo's wondering if is Harper a sellout. Listen, if I was offered more money to do this job, <laughs> I probably would take it. If you were offered more money to do your job, wouldn't you take it? Why not grade a one of one, Jesse? Well, the the idea is car in town two forty five. The idea is is that you grade a card because let's say you got a Kevin Durant silver versus another Kevin Durant silver. You want to be like that's the nicer Kevin Durant because that's graded a nine five while this was an eight or something like that, right? So you can def differentiate. If you look at like Jordan rookies, um, if you look at like Jordan rookies. You can see how much of a difference a half point grade grade will make. There's Eric Bledsoe for the Bucks, but for a one of one, it's only one of them. So what's the point? You know, some people will argue what's the point. Um, some people say, hey, you know, like what, grade it to protect it or grade it to just have a nice grade on it. You know, so that could be the argument right there. Unfortunately, we don't offer any grading services, RTR. So I charge zero dollars because we don't do it.
we'll leave that decision up to Chris Layton whether he wants to do that or not. Right, Ray's saying, yeah, grading it to protect it is is really the main point of it. All right, guys, All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. In the West, the Warriors, the Nuggets, the Trailblazers, the Rockets, the Jazz, the Clippers, the Spurs, the Thunder have all locked up playoff spots. Everybody else is eliminated. The West is set, ladies and gentlemen. I guess really maybe some, some seeding is what they're kind of playing around with at this point, you know. I think uh, the Thunder and the Spurs will be battling for 7 and 8. Who doesn't want to meet the Warriors, you know what I mean? So there's that right there. And then playoffs. I mean, I've just been that's just what I've been waiting for. Playoffs. The last two weeks of the season can get kind of a can kind of drag a little bit. Let's see. But once the playoff starts, the excitement NBA excitement comes back. Rich has graded a hundred percent graded. The Cardinals come back pretty good though. We all guys that shit. Yeah. All right, last box. There's Giannis. There's Lonzo. To 249. There's DeAndre Ayton. To 299. I'll save that other Luka Doncic as well. And Troy Brown Jr. is your draft selections relic. <laughs> That's a good question, Mike Tower. How do they grade corners on a die cut? I guess they just consider it, I guess they just call it edges. Maybe they consider the corners like the top, like these little guys right here would be considered the corners. Then there's the edges. Jaspies, we, we handle the cards pretty well, so I think we have a pretty good track record of, uh, we've pulled some some other cards from a lot of, for a lot of people and they've come back graded really nicely. So, So it might be worth it. Ray is saying uh, PSA or or Beckett. Ray likes PSA for non autos. And there's D Brown in flight signatures for the C's. Little Oppo Joe Mojo for Mark Matheson. There you go. Yeah, Ray saying the cards that I've pulled for Ray have all come back PSA ten. True story. Really nice. We're we're also lucky that we that we get we get nice cases too that haven't been banged around and stuff like that. No, it's my it's my soft hands. That's what it is. I'm like a wide receiver. Yeah, no gloves. I don't need gloves. Redemption. Oh, Rich, you got a black label from us? From me? For what? Which card? Oh, we got a zebra down there, too. You see that zebra? Right over there? That's uh, it's generally falls one per case. There's DeAndre Aiden, 65. Yeah, they, they, zebras do well. Watch this Luka Doncic. No, it's Josh Akogie, though. Nice. Christopher Bay with the Timberwolves. There you go. That generally falls one per case. Hey, we can watch the game today. What? It's on KTLA, I think. Oh! Nice. I think it is one of the first, one of the ten series starts today. All right, so the DeAndre Ayton die cut goes to Chris Parent. These actually do well, too, because first overall. I know everyone's talking about this guy, but there's a lot of rookies that actually sell surprisingly well. On a secondary market, which is what makes this hoops really great. Court Kings comes out tomorrow, so a chance to get that. I really like the Court Kings. All right, the redemption. Good luck. It's Mitch Richmond in flight signatures tie dye prisms. Mitch Richmond is a warrior. <laughs> Where, uh, Mitch Richmond. Uh, well, we'll have, we'll have to look at the checklist. Groupbreakchecklist.com. 
select basketball, view the list, Richmond. No, Rich, Mitch Richmond is a Sacramento King in this. I'm glad I looked that up. Mark with Mitch. He did spend a little time in Golden, with Golden State, though, as well. So there you have it, boys and girls. Second half of the case in the store. Uh, there, we've been pulling some really nice stuff out of this first half. That trend can continue in the second half. We can finish that off tonight. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time.